Hey, it's me, Mark, and today we're going to paint this guy. So uh, what we're going to start off with is painting the mouth. So I'm going to grab the red. And of course you have to paint your nails again for ultimate painting skills. This is how it works. I don't make the rules. I'm going to goop a bit of that. Take my time screwing it back on. Paintbrush, water. Get it nice and wet. I'm going to grab this. And I just want to paint the roof of the mouth since that's the only spot really missing paint. Okay, I let that dry overnight because I was lazy. So now we're going to do a little bit of a brown wash. Oh yeah, that's a lot of brown. Wet paintbrush, really wet it down so I got a lot of goop. Right there, that's good. And ta-da, the mouth is basically done. And now I'm gonna just paint it all brown. So, oh, but, 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 some of this same color with some black. Hello, it's Future Mark from the future of this recording. It, yeah, anyway, I, I recorded this like a couple months back. Uh, been lazy, so uh, fuck you. Uh, anyways, so the painting this, it's a base coat, pretty watered down so I can get into all the little details and shit. You are going to notice you have to move around the figure just to get underneath the joints. So like move the elbow forward, paint the back of it, bend it backwards, point, paint the forward, front of it. Yeah, it's messy, it's fast, just like me with my food. But for the whole painting process is basically how we mixed the brown to black. Then we're going to mix brown with not black, and then a little bit of white and a little more white, so, so this way we'll have a gradient. Uh, as you see, the black base coat looks black, and then uh, with the brown, it's going to be a little more brown. And by building up from this dark to lighter color, you're going to get a lot of shading and dimension that you didn't really see on the figure originally. Uh, you could always just do like two coats. You, you, you could always take shortcuts, but if you do a, a slow building up from dark to light process like this, it really makes everything kind of pop out, which doesn't hurt the figure. And again, I can't stress how imperative, how, how, how important, important it is to paint your fingernails before you do this shit. Trust me, that my, the, these fingers are like gone now without the nails. Am I making sense? No. And that's the point, because I don't have the painted fingers. So that's a lesson for you kids, that you should have been watching this. I, if you can't tell, I'm halfway asleep, but hope you like the video anyways. And if you made it this far, if you like this video and subscribe to it, I will do so many things for you, trust me. I will, the, I can't even name what I'll do for you on this website yeah i'll be demonetized even though i'm not even monetized yet that's a goal poor college person need money but i'll do stuff if you do what what i say subscribe you better because you made it this far and that means you're fucking weird like me also i'd like to have some feedback is it better for you guys if i just fucking do my crazy midnight rants over the video that's happening or do you want me to actually talk about what's happening i could describe it like right here i'm probably painting I'm, i i have a paintbrush rub it on there that talked about dry brush you can just wipe off most of it so it hits the top it's there the more you know uh anyways how's your day missed you there's no need to respond because i'll just imagine what the fuck you're saying to me Ooh, yeah that nice Ooh, mm, yeah Thank you. Well, my day, anyways, uh, well, week, uh, went to Comic-Con this month. First time to sell. That worked good, so next year, gonna do it again. Uh, shit. Yeah, that, that, that's all that's been going on in my life. That, and college, and just car breaking down. Then painting these figures are my only solace. Plus my cat. 
And painting these eyes are fucking hard, by the way. See, you can see how I have to flip that over ways because I'm like right-handed and bullshit. It, it, this is bullshit. It, it's hard. This is like the, it, this is all beginner level until you get to the eyes where you have to get like really tiny. But uh, I, the white portions of the eyeballs, I don't know what the fuck that's called. They're not circular. It has its like own little shape, so gotta like follow the the pattern and the sculpt. Then you'll see I like to kind of go over it and then just with wait, uh, wet paintbrush I could kind of rinse it off and touch it up. But after that, the pupils are easy because you just dip the end of a little stick in the in the color you want, then dab it on there. And you have a perfect circle. Ta-da! Move the magic. And then so once you do a little black dot, then a dot of color, then another black dot for the very center of the eye it's pretty much done on both sides and we could finally move on to the fun parts which are the little shit it comes with and I'm counting the box as an accessory ex uh, accessory because I want to fuck you also plus I just wanted to customize the box uh, like the last Godzilla video where I had a little city where he stands I, I think it's nice when you have them on the wall in the boxes but by doing this you kind of have it outside the box it, you get what I'm saying it's like it's own little mini diorama I, I think that's nice but I'm getting ahead of myself because I completely forgot about touching up the scars that I painted over on the chest uh, if you read the comics, there's probably some story about how those specific scars got on him, but uh, I have not, so I am just gonna freehand it and not paying too much attention. It's, it, they're just little scribble lines of lighter color. Painting the, the helicopter is pretty easy because you just water down some black, throw it on there, and oop, it's, it's painted. Uh, it, the black wasp kind of goes in all the details, and uh, then if you just touch up on the windshields and the, the prop blades, it, it's all good to go. Not much work there. And finally, what I've been looking forward to talk about this whole video, fucking with the box. First off, just gonna gut it out, so th these boxes are kind of weird, where they have like two back panels so with a raised blade. Just cut it halfway through, you can recover everything out. And then I'm gonna start fucking with some clay. So what I'm working with right now is called foam clay, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's foam. It when it dries, it, it's just like foam, but you work with it like clay. Uh, you could get this at Michaels and a few other places. Uh, my secret supplier is my girlfriend, cause she she's the one who introduced me to this magical stuff, and I love it. But and her. Uh, but but. As you see, I'm trying to go for the, the Skull Island kind of mountains, kind of weird poop, upright poops. That, that's what they look like right now before you start throwing paint on it. And originally, I was going to paint it like mountainy colors, uh, you know, like with a lot of browns and dark browns and like uh, that whole color spectrum. But uh, I thought it would just blend too much in with what we did with Kong just a few seconds ago. So I'm going to do more of just the uh, black and grays and whites and kind of, again, same idea of start with the very dark colors and work, work your way up to lighter and lighter colors to get the, the shadows that you want. And the one thing that ties this whole thing together is the foliage. Uh, I, I don't know what the specific name of the shit is called, just the green stuff. You can find it at hobby stores. But once you just basically put glue goop on, put the white stuff on there glue works too and then I sprinkle it on and it'll stick and then it'll dry on there and it looks like trees and so on ta-da movie magic how many times have I said that then I'll just sprinkle it onto the the weapon or whatever the fuck that thing's called and it's pretty much done and you could watch this fun awesome presentational video of before and after photos that are so well edited my god you want to believe this
Ta-da! So you made it this far, so I might as well do a little uh, short review on what I did. Of course, this comes right off. Let's see, uh, just a quick, blah, blah, blah. quick black wash, and it's pretty much done. Not much work to do there. Same with this, uh, black wash, and throw the goop on it. You got some moss, it's a little fun. And then, of course, the piece of resistance. The box. Yep, look at that beauty right there. So, of course, you could use other clays, but uh, foam clay was what I had and what worked best at the time. And, yeah, I like it. But I think the grass is what really sells the scale on it. And you could just get this flocking grass at, like, any heart of... Uh, it's got Hobby Shop. That's what they're called. They're, like, five bucks for a pack. And Or you could go outside, grab some green stuff, glue it on there. Whatever works, just have fun. And then we got this tiny old eye. Yeah, I'm most proud of the eyes, because that was a fucking bitch and a half to do. But of course, still has the articulation. And then, uh, as you can tell, paint could get stuck in the joints, so all you have to do is kind of move it around to free it up. But all the articulation is still intact, you can move the head. You can look at that beautiful, beautiful monkey ass, and spread them cheeks. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I, I think it's, even without the paint, it was worth the 10 bucks or so. And I really hope Playmates does more uh, articulated figures like this. I saw that they're going to make a Ghidorah, so I have high hopes for that. Maybe if I could get my hands on it, I'll make a little repainting video on that too. I've also been thinking about doing uh, videos on repainting these guys over here but I don't know just give me uh, your thoughts on that and uh, now after we're done I'm gonna put it to its rightful place Whoa. oh god I should have planned this out But, yep, this is peak cinematography right here. Ta-da! Wonder which one I'll do next.